Hello, I am Sonia Rai from Commerce Department and my topic for today is Advertisement Budgeting. So what is Advertisement Budget? So Advertising Budget is the amount of money set aside for the purpose of marketing and advertising a product or a service. This is nothing but the cost of advertisements which will generate the revenue for the company. This is nothing but the cost revenue analysis of the company, how much they are spending on the advertisement and how much they will generate from this advertisement. Now, what are the factors affecting the budget? First one is the objective of the campaign. So, what is the objective of this advertisement? What company wants to achieve through this advertisement? Whether they want to expand their uh, target audience, whether they want to introduce a new product, launch new products, or they are uh, introduce new flavor in the product. So, whatever is the objective, that is the first part of the budgeting. Competition, who are your competitors? If there are big companies which are your competitors, international companies are your competition, or new market players are entering into competition, or government policies are changing. So that will also change and affect the competition and the advertisement budget for the company. Now quality of a campaign. Quality of campaign means which personalities, which celebrities you are using to advertise your products. Suppose you are hiring Mr. Bachchan for your advertising your products or Aishwarya Rai or any cricketer. So that will definitely affect the quality of the campaign, meaning that will definitely want to affect the amount you are spending to advertise the product or to make a product, uh, to advertise, to make an advertisement for the product. Now type of a target audience, what kind of target audience you are having? Suppose you are having uh, a low income groups or a vill uh, village area groups as a target audience. So that is that audience is not very much interested in the locations or uh, computer graphics. So what kind of target audience you are having that will going to affect the budget of the company. Uh, frequency of ads, how frequently you want to show your advertisement, that will definitely going to affect the budget of your advertisement. If you are going to show it more times like FMCG products, so all these products shown very much, uh, uh, very frequently in, uh, the, in your television, you know, on, they are on very frequently on television. So that will definitely going to affect the budget of the advertising. Size of the company, uh, how, with what kind of size of the company, it's a national company, international company, or just a state level company. So what kind, what is the size of this company? That will really matters for designing the advertisement budget. Product life cycle, so whether this product is in introduction phase, growth phase, maturity phase or decline phase, all these factors are affecting in uh, advertisement budget. Suppose the product is in introduction phase, the huge amount will be spent on introducing a new product in the market and suppose it's in declining phase, a very limited amount will be spent on the advertisement budget. Management philosophy, if management believes that uh, advertisement will generate a huge revenue for themselves, so they, they become very positive towards advertisement and they will spend a very good amount on the advertising of the product. Now there are uh, process of the budgeting, uh, there are three basic approaches which are definitely be categorized later on. So first approach is the fixed guideline method, second is the tax method and the uh, third one is the subjective method. Fixed methods are again categorized in various uh, levels. The first one is the percentage of sale method, second one is unit of sales method, third one is competitor's expenditure method and the last one is the share of market method. Now I will discuss all of these one by one. First one is percent of sale method. So advertiser consider the percentage of sale as an amount to be spent on particular advertisement. So they might take the uh, revenue which is generated last year or last two three years or how much they are going to uh, generate in coming next two three years that will they will take the value of it and then they will decide their advertisement budget. Unit of sale, this is just based on the volume of sale rather than the value of sale. So suppose the anticipated sale is 20,000 rupees and per unit uh, selling price is 1,000 rupees. So uh, if the management decide that out of every 1,000 rupees, 100 rupees will be spent on the advertisement. So this will be their advertisement budget. Competitor expenditure method, this is also called, uh, this is also called defensive approach. So there are advertisements which use their competitors uh, as a basis of the advertisement budget. What their competitors are doing, uh, how they are advertising, how much they are spending on it, they will use they as a, their expenditure as a basis and for and they will try to uh, meet with their advertisement expenditure 
with their leading uh, competitors and they will, their decision is based on their competitor decision how much they are spending where they are spending so their uh, their approach of expenditure is based on their competitor uh, competitors decision market share uh, this is depend upon the market share on uh, this this budget is depend upon the market share more the share more the advertisement budget will be there suppose 40% is there so the 40% of the total advertisement will go to that brand of the advertisement task method so this is also known as objective method and what objective company wants to achieve through that advertisement there are a few listed i have listed here few like first of all they want to improve the distribution system second is brand awareness third one is product modification and fourth one they want to collect the response for the discount sale offers and etc so this is a task method they want they are using this advertisement to achieve certain objectives now how uh, there are steps to achieve this method first one is what is the amount required to achieve this objective so this will depend upon the media mix we are using advertisement campaign and the frequency of this advertisement that will be shown and how much budget they can afford so how much budget they can afford that will be depend upon the amount required for advertisement and if that amount is not sufficient they will change any of the objective which are men mentioned here which is uh, media mix ad campaign or the frequency mostly they uh, try to change the frequency of the advertisement and the media mix suppose they are going for three media mix they will, they will uh, restrain themselves to only two so this is how they are trying to achieve their objective in a limited budget third one is subjective method so there are three methods which i have listed here first one is arbitrary method here the based on the volume of uh, sales volume or the objectives of the advertisement the company management take decision and they try the advertisement budget all you can afford uh, which is generally used by very uh, state level company very small company and they have very small uh, very close control of their advertisement but they are they are very particular about how much they are spending on the advertisement and when the advertisement budget is directly related to the Uh, assets of the company so they are very they are very observant about they will have very close control of the advertisement budget and go for a block method is this kind of method utilized when company is very desperate to advertise their product and whatever funds they are having they are sending for they are giving for advertisement so this is it for today thank you so very much